Thank you, gentlemen. I want to talk about the import of Section 702 to our national security. Uh, Admiral Rogers, I'll direct most of these questions to you as the subject matter expert on the panel on signals intelligence from foreign threats. So I might turn to some of our lawyers uh, for legal questions. Does Section 702, Admiral Rogers, allow you to collect information on U.S. citizens? As intentionally targeted individuals? Yes, no. intentionally target them. No. Does it, allow you, does it allow you to target foreigners uh, to do what's called reverse targeting of U.S. citizens, knowing those U.S. citizens are in communications? No, it does not. Does it allow you to collect information on foreigners who are on U.S. soil? No. It does not. Two is outside the United States. So you can collect information on an ISIS terrorist in Syria, and he comes to the United States, and you can no longer collect information on his cell phone or his email address. We're in a foreign intelligence organization. We coordinate with the FBI. But yes, sir, we don't do internal domestic collection Mr. broadly. Mr. Rosenstein, do foreigners have constitutional rights? Uh, when they're in the United States, Senator, different rules apply, and that's why uh, I think it's important for people to understand that Section 702 uh, applies only in circumstances where it's a foreign national outside the United States. If they're inside the United States, we would need to rely on other provisions of FISA to do that collection. So yes, we can do it, uh, but we need to apply different rules. And Mr. McCabe, uh, uh, as the director indicated, is responsible for that. Mr. McCabe, what happens when a ISIS terrorist comes from Syria to the United States and Director Rogers or Admiral Rogers can no longer use Section 702 to monitor his electronic communications? Yeah, Admiral, Admiral Rogers folks notify mine, and then we work together to uh, pursue coverage under different elements of the FISA statute. Um, I, I'm sure you'd work as hard as you can to make sure that it's absolutely seamless, but it does seem to me that Section 702, because it's limited to foreigners on foreign soil without targeting any U.S. persons anywhere, goes the extra mile to protect the constitutional rights of American citizens and even the supposed constitutional rights of foreigners when they come on U.S. soil. That's one reason why I support the permanent extension of Section 702, and I introduced legislation to that effect yesterday with the support of all seven Republicans on this committee. Tom Bossert, uh, the counterterrorism and homeland security advisor to the President, write in today's New York Times about our legislation, the Trump administration supports this bill without condition. Admiral Rogers, is that your position? Could you repeat it again? I apologize, sir. The Trump administration else. supports this bill without condition. Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10, how enthusiastic would you be if this bill passed? You can go over 10 and be excessively <laughs> enthusiastic. I would be ecstatic that we'd be in a position to continue to generate significant insights for this nation's security. So you'd dial it straight up to 11? Yes, sir. Okay. Director Coates? <clears throat> My level is about 100. <clears throat> Mr. Rosenstein. Uh, Senator, I'm not familiar with the rating system. Uh, I do think it's very important. Director McCabe. I'm at 11. Uh, Director uh, Coach, you had an exchange earlier with Senator Wyden about the efforts to estimate and declassify the number of persons who might be subject to incidental collection under Section 702. This is when you have a lawful 702 order, uh, but someone does, in fact, communicate with an American citizen. Um, it's my understanding that it would be virtually impossible to do so in a way that wouldn't further infringe on the rights of American citizens. Is that correct? Well, that's yes, and that's one of the central reasons why uh, I came to the conclusion. Uh, but the main reason I came to the conclusion is that is just is not conceivably possible. We could go through the procedures. We could shift hundreds of people to go over and breach the rights of hundreds if not thousands of, of American citizens to determine what, whether, of individuals to determine whether or not they are American citizens or not. Um, but we still, having done that, could not get to an accurate number, the number that Senator Wyden was trying to, to get us to. And I was, my, my pledge to him is I would go out there, try to fully understand why it was we couldn't get that. Uh, there'll be detailed discussions on that and the closed session with the staff and the technicians from both NSA and from uh, Senate staff here and others um, uh, relative to all of the efforts that have been made to try to answer the question. Uh, and as I st said in my statement, even if we were to take people off their regular jobs and say, get on this issue, uh, even if um, uh, uh, we could put other measures in place, we still would not be able to come up. It's hard to explain 
how difficult this is or why this is the case, um, but that is what is going to be discussed in the, in the closed session because all of this is classified information uh, this, this afternoon. Um, I assume the staff of members, uh, all the members here will be there. But my pledge was to do the best I could to try to get to, the, to, to some answer. And the result was we couldn't get to an answer, um, uh, number one. And number two, trying to get to an answer uh, would totally disrupt the efforts uh, of the agency. Now, if, you, know, you might be able to make the case, let's hire a thousand more people and get to the answer uh, if you knew that you would get to the answer. Um, Admiral Rogers has told me, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, that if someone else out there knows how to get to it, he's welcome to have, have them come out and tell NSA how to do it. Well, but everybody says get to, you can get to the number, it's easy, there's all kinds of agencies out there that can do it. I think you might welcome the advice if, if uh, they wanted to do that. So we, it hire, really raises the question of why there has to be an exact number. Well, if we're going to hire a thousand new people, I'd sooner them focus on terrorists and foreign intelligence services than violating the privacy rights of American citizens. My time has expired. Senator Harris.